12 News is your local election headquarters bringing you breaking news. Rhode Island General Treasurer Seth Magaziner is ending his bid for governor to run for Congress. Target 12 investigator Steph Machado attended Magaziner's announcement this afternoon and joins us now live in Cranston with the details. Steph. Well, on Sunday, Seth Magaziner said he was still in the race for governor, but today he says he's running for Congress to try and stop the seat from turning red. I love Rhode Island. Four months ago, Treasurer Seth Magaziner was kicking off his campaign for governor. Today, switching to the congressional race in Rhode Island's 2nd District after Congressman Jim Langevin's surprise announcement last week that he'll retire after more than two decades in Congress. And after uh, a long week of deliberating on it, I've come to the conclusion that the way that I can deliver best for the people of Rhode Island uh, is as a member of Congress. Magaziner was the best funded candidate in a crowded six way Democratic primary for governor. Now he joins former state rep Ed Pacheco and Omar Ba in a Democratic primary for Congress. Magaziner telling reporters he felt the congressional race needed a Democrat who has won statewide. We cannot take the risk that a Republican represent Rhode Island in the United States Congress, not in this cycle, not in this of all years. Magaziner lives on the east side of Providence, which is not actually in the second congressional district. It's not a requirement to run for the seat, but I asked him if he plans to move. I live one mile away from the district today, and yes, uh, we are committed to moving to the second district. Um, so, yes. Magaziner wouldn't say whether he'll move before the election, however. Now, on the Republican side, former State Rep Bob Lancia and State Senator Jessica De La Cruz have both said they will run in the GOP primary, and other people are also considering jumping in. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News. Your local election headquarters, Seth Magaziner is switching his sights from the Rhode Island State House to the U.S. Capitol. His announcement this afternoon has shaken up both the gubernatorial and congressional races. 12 News reporter Steph Machado was at Magaziner's announcement. She joins us live from Cranston. Steph. Well, it's been a busy week in Rhode Island politics after Jim Langevin announced his retirement last week. We now have five announced candidates running for his seat, including Magaziner, who left the governor's race today to run for Congress. We cannot take the risk that a Republican represent Rhode Island in the United States Congress. Democrat Seth Magaziner says the climate in Washington led him to decide to run for Jim Langevin's congressional seat now that Langevin plans to retire. This is serious business this year. You know, Trump is not going away. Kevin McCarthy is not going away. This is a year that the pundits say could be a uh, year when Republicans are on the offensive nationally. Uh, this is a no this we, we can't mess around and we have to hold this seat. Magaziner joins former state rep Ed Pacheco and Omar Ba in the Democratic primary for the seat. On the Republican side, former state rep Bob Lancia is making a second run for the seat and state senator Jessica De La Cruz jumped in over the weekend. I'm worried about any Republican. I mean, this is a district and you all know this. This is a district uh, where Hillary Clinton only got 51% of the vote. Magaziner lives in Providence in the first congressional district. He says he plans to move, but wouldn't say when. I live one mile away from the district today, and yes, uh, we are committed to moving to the second district. Magaziner was also asked if he'll throw his weight behind any of the gubernatorial candidates. Now that he's out of that race, he would only say he plans to support the Democratic nominee. Live in Cranston, I'm Steph Machado, 12 News.